Good afternoon. We would like to acknowledge our distinguished resource persons from the National Housing Authority, Engineer Grace Guevara, Area Manager, uh, NHA Visayas, Architect Maria Alma Valenciano from NHA Mindanao, Area Manager, Architect Al Quarishmi Indanan, District Manager, NHA Zamboanga City, Attorney Chito Cruz, former General Manager, National Housing Authority, Attorney Sinforoso Pagunsan, former General Manager, National Housing Authority. Representing Secretary Ramon M. Lopez of the Department of Trade and Industry, we have Executive Director Herbert, Herbert Patienzo, Philippine Contractors Association of the DTI, and Attorney Marimel Por Porcion Kula, Assistant Director, Bureau of Philippine Standards, and Mr. Mario Gaudiano, Division Chief on Bureau of Standards. From the Commission on Audit, Ms. Mary S. Adelino, Director 4, together with Attorney Francis Dayo, Attorney 4, and Ms. Jennifer Cusi, State Auditor. From the uh, Local Water Utilities Administration, Engineer Ferdinand Tulawe, Acting Division Manager. From our local government units, representing Governor Nelson Dayang Hirang, we have Attorney Edelbirdo Makaira, Provincial Legal Officer. Representing uh, Governor Arthur D. Defensor Sr., uh, we have Dr. Jerry Bionat, Department Head of the Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office. We have Mayor Maria Isabel Climaco of Zamboanga City. We have um, Mayor Randy Grasa of the Municipality of Balangiga Eastern Summer. Representing Mayor Jose es Espinosa, Iloilo City, we have Attorney Edmundo Buen, Buen Soceso, Assistant, Executive Assistant for the Mayor for Urban Poor Affairs. Mayor Arnold James Isudoro from the Municipality of Leyte. From the developers, uh, sir, we issued them subpoena last week. Mr. Rainier Zara Herona of Eagle Rock Construction and Development Corporation. Mr. Leandro C. Nocum, the One Dynamic Three Realty Development Corporation. Ms. Ida Abendano Gintu, Goldenville Realty and Development Corporation. Mr. Edgardo A. Sagum, Edmarie Construction and Trading. Mr. Billy Raymond De Leon, Billray Construction. Mr. Crisanto S. Garcia, CS Garcia Construction. Rep um, Engineer Edwin Romualdo, Project Manager, 3W Builders, Inc. Mr. Anthony Gerard Halili, Harley Construction, Inc. Other developers, we have Ms. Aina Gemenis M. Garcia, Aina Construction. Mr. Eduardo Ramonti Dimaano, Bendimil Construction and Development Corporation. Mr. Seferino B. Garay Jr., C.B. Garay, Philippine Wide Builders. And Engineer, Joan Cristal C. Publico, Project Manager. Mr. Reginaldo de la Cruz, Project Director or Director of CAVDIL Cavite Ideal International Construction and Development Corporation. Ms. Doris Joy Agbayani, Consultant of CSC Builders. Mr. Wilberto Limuel de la Cuna, Project Manager, CSL Construction Corporation. Mr. Francis Roy Ponyo, Head Business Development of BSP Company, Inc. Mr. Domilo Lucenario, VP for Business Development and Special Concerns, EM Cuerpo, Inc. Mr. Sunny L. Perez, General Manager of Grand B Trading and Construction. Architect Marioneri Palafox, Project Manager and Engineer Patrick Jan Devera, Project Engineer, 
of Gulf Canary Construction and Development Corporation. Mr. Herminio Carrion, President of Her Car Builder Inc., together with Mr. Harold Carrion, General Manager. Ms. Isabelita P. Mercado of IPM Construction and Development Corporation, together with Architect Jeff Coligado, Engineer Romel Musa, and Engineer Paul D. Ms. Uh, Engineer Enrico B. Garcia, Chief Operating Officer of J.D. Legaspi Construction. Mr. James Oyesho of J.C. Oyesho Construction and Development Corporation. Mr. Michael Angelo F. Calios, Lock K. Builders Company. Engineer Alhazen Sapi, Project Manager of Limestone Construction and Development Corporation. Mr. Godofredo J. Abisamis, President and General Manager of Linear Construction Corporation. Mr. Eliseo Aureliado of Metro Stonerich Corporation. Ms. Maria Rosa S. Mandani of MRRM Trading and Construction. Mr. Michael Casas, Operation Manager of Persan Construction, Inc. Engineer Rico Hermoso and Cabo of RR and Cabo Constructors, Incorporated, together with Engineer Carlos Litrago, Project Engineer. Mr. Rafael A. Ilagan of RFN Construction and Development Corporation. Mr. Vicente M. Mendoza Jr., General Manager, Rosand Builders. Mr. Ryan Uy, Rotaflex Construction and Development Corporation. Mr. Roland Ronquillo of Specified Contractors and Development, Inc. Ms. Josephine A. M. Lagman, TRM Construction and Development Corporation. Engineer Rolando R. Amparado, Chief Operating Officer of Verzontal Builders, Inc. Together with Engineer Rolando Amparado, Chief Operating Officer. And... Mayor Arno Arnold Isidoro Leite Leite. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Philip Aranas of the Municipality of Guian. And of course, our General Manager of the National Housing Authority, Mr. Marcelino P. Escalada Jr. Good afternoon. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Comsec. Um, now, guys, may I ask um, among those subpoenaed uh, who, who did not show up? or uh, did not uh, come here or uh, notify the committee? Because this already has a subpoena, no? Sir, of the 10 that we have subpoenaed last week, the following did not show up. Mr. Rainier Zara Herona, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Jorge C. Lagumbay, Jorvips Construction. Uh, Mr. Lagumbay? Sorry, uh, uh, I stand corrected. Ms. Herina G. Bellio of Zephyr Construction Philippines, Inc. Did not show up. Uh, it was not served. Last week. Sir, um, it was only Ms. Harina Bello of Zephyr Construction Philippines Inc. who failed to show up today. So how many? About 10? So we'd ask the committee secretary to write them, show cause order, and uh, likewise read the explanation, explaining the reason why they did not come because that is already a subpoena. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, sir, um, thank you. Before we continue, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of uh, um, Senator Grace Po, our uh, Chair of the Committee on Public Services. Thank you, ma'am, for joining us. We have a full house because these are the contractors that were um, uh, in our investigation of the um, housing on uh, Yolanda, Pablo, Sendong, and likewise the Zumbuanga siege. Thank you, ma'am, for being with us uh, this afternoon. 
Anyway, uh, just for my opening statement, sa nakarang hearing, isinalaysay ng mga residente ang kanilang kalagayan sa mga pabahay ng pamalaan, particular sa Iligan at Tacloban. Inilahad nila ang mga problema kaugnay ng substandard housing units, kawala ng kuryente at tubig, problema sa lokasyon at transportasyon, kawala ng kabuhayan, at hindi maayos na waste management and drainage system. Tugma sa ulat ng kalimidad sa pabahay ni Ted Filo na saksihan natin ang mga depektibong proyektong pabahay ng NHA. Sa mga pahayag ni Mayor Benkley Mako ng Sambuanga City, lalong na ilantad ang kapabayaan ng mga kawani ng NHA na matiyak ng maayos na reklokasyon para sa mga biktima ng Sambuanga Siege. Mariinding sinabi ni Mayor Klimako na nagsayang lamang ng malaking pondo ang pamalaan para sa mga proyektong pabahay na hindi man lang nagkaroon ng maayos na sanidad. At siya rin po ang nagsabi na mayroon pong mga contractor na talagang subcon ang uh, uh, may nag-subcontractor. No? Ano yung nag-subcon doon po sa mga proyekto sa Sambuanga. Nabanggit din sa hearing ang kakulangan ng mga tao ng NHA para sa monitoring ng mga pinapatayong bahay. Pinaalalahan naman ni Central Cynthia Villar ang NHA na ang subcontracting ay illegal at hindi dapat pinahintulutan ng NHA. Pinag-uulat ni Senator Lore Legarda at Senator Nasa ng NHA kasama ang mga dating nangasiwa dito na sina German Manager Chito Cruz at General Manager Pagunsan na tukuyin ang mga opisyalis sa dapat na natiyak na maayos ang proyekto sa bawat area ng pabahay gaya ng Sendong, Pablo, Yolanda at Sambuanga Siege. Gayun din ang mga kontraktor ng mga nasabing proyekto. Sa pahayag ni GM Escalada ng, sa komite, iniulat niya na may sinasagawang investigasyon ng ahensya sa kanilang mga kawani at opisyal na may kinalaman sa mga depektibong proyekto. nag na rin sila ng ilang kontrata sa mga tiwaling kontraktor. Ilan lamang ito sa tinatalakay noong Mayo 21 na hearing. Sa araw pong ito, itutuloy natin ang pag-usisa sa mga problema ng ating mga resettlement sites. Sa sentro po ang ating mga pagdinig sa panig ng mga kontraktor sa naimbitahan natin para sagutin ang ilang issues. Please take note. Aalamin natin at papaliwanagin ang mga kontraktor sa issue ng kaugnay sa substandard units delayed delivery ng mga target units at subcontracting. Bubusiisiin din natin kung paano nakakuha ng kontrata ang mga contractors at developers sa NHA. Susuriin din natin ang proseso sa paghanap at pagbili sa mga lupang pinagtatayuan ng mga housing sites ng NHA. Tatanungin natin sa NHA kung ilang units ang kanilang nasuring substandard at na-rectify ng contractors. Gayun din ang mga aksyon ng NHA para habulin ang mga contractor na lumabag sa kontrata at terms of reference. Aalamin natin ang dahilan kung bakit sa kabila ng pagtatayo ng mga substandard na units o delay sa target date completion ay nagagawang makakuha pa ng ilang proyekto ng ilang contractors na may paglabag. Kailangan nating malaman kung may mga favored contractors. Sisilipin din natin ang COA Audit Report Recommendations kaugnay sa mga proyekto ng gobyerno ng ito. Titiyakin po natin na masagot ang mga katanungan ito upang matuntun kung sino nga ba ang nagpabaya, malaman kung sino-sino ang nagkunsabahan at matukoy kung sino-sino ang dapat maparusahan. Aalalahanin po natin na mayroon po tayong Marawi Rehabilitation. Hindi po dapat maulit ang mga karanasan natin kay Sendong, Pablo, Yolanda at sa Sambuanga Conflict. Muli ayaw natin maulit ang ganitong pangapangyayari sa ating pong pabahay. So before we continue, um, I'd like the chair would like to acknowledge the presence of so of um, Senator Risa Tiberos. Thank you also, Madam, for uh, being with us. So I'm uh, surrounded by two lovely ladies this afternoon. So before we continue, we would like to uh, I'd like to ask that, uh, that the video be be played.
kesuksesan Alfonso de Leche. Lahat, lahat harus nang bahagia yang nang gawa. Oh, harus lahat, lahat talaga. Kung hindi ganyan, ganito mga magkaklak sila. Puro na bita. Pero tinig na nang tumatagay ni Chi, ang sabi, aayusin nila. Aayusin lahat? Oo, aayusin daw. Wala naman nangyari ilang taon na.
Yung kanina po, tungkol sa substandard, ito yung location naman, yung itapang na mga issue. Okay, uh, maraming salamat. Siguro yun lang muna, no? Mamaya na yung papalabas. So, tatlong issue po yung main issue. Tatlong main issue yung napag-usapan. Uh, nung isang linggo ay nag-sento tayo sa substandard. So, siguro balikan natin bahagya dahil nandito ng mga kontratista. Tapos, mamaya yung location, yung choice of location. Tapos, pangatlo, yung ibang lokasyon din na nasa... Um, kasi mga location dito, ano eh, malalayo, malayo sa kabiasan. Ngayon, yung pangatlo, yung pong nasa flood-prone area, at landslide prone area kumbaga nanggaling na nga sila sa sakuna nanggaling na sa kalamidad sa dilubyo tapos na ilipat pa sa isang sa lugar na hindi rin sila ligtas no kanina ngayon po kay nag-usap po kami ni Center Risa Center Grace 
nabigyan natin ng background, kahapon nagkaroon ng investigasyon sa PhilHealth, sana maintindihan nyo po na hindi ho tayo mayamang bansa, kaya dapat yung ating paggamit o yung wastong pag-google sa ating bukakapirunggot na pondo ay kinakailangan. No? Ang nakakalungkot ho dito ay uh, we have spent about 64 billion, 64 billion ang ating pong ginasta ng ating pamalaan uh, kung, kung susumahin nyo ang Yolanda, Pablo, Um, Sendong at ang Zamboanga Siege no? Pero yung pong tumitira O nakatira doon sa mga proyektong ginawa Nang marakaramihan sa inyo Ay wala pa hong 50% So ibig sabihin na Nagtatapod tayo ng pera no? Siyempre nakakaanong malaman no? Na hindi Again, hindi tayo mayamang bansa At kung ganito ang ating pong nangyayari hindi, Kinakailangan natin i-reform At kailangan natin baguhin In aid of legislation, that's why we have called this hearing that because we do not want a repeat of Yolanda, Sendong, Pablo, and probably Sambuanga Siege. No? Pati po yung unang nangyari, yung mga pang, siguro ho nangyari doon, eh, talagang marami na gitla, nag nagulat, no? lalo na yung sa Yolanda, pero ito yung mga bagay na hindi natin dapat ulitin. No? Especially data we have the Marawi Rehabilitation upcoming. So kung ano po yung mga pagkakamali, na nagawa nung manakaraang rehabilitation efforts ay sana wag nang maulit muli dito po sa sa Marawi reconstruction this, this will cost about ano eh may medyo malaki-laki din po yung Marawi no so sana po ay uh, wag nang maulit so going back siguro doon sa una sa unang issue doon sa substandard siguro tanungin ko lang ang NHA pwede si GM Escalado or ating mga dating GM uh, um GM Chito Cruz or, or uh, uh, Pagunsan ano pong, ano, siguro yung pong nakita po natin kanina kasi, no, yung mga maninipis na, na pagkakagawa, yung wala hon laman yung loob, yung na, na, nauuga. Si, ano pong technology ang ating pong ginamit dito? Kasi po yung sa layman, yung mga natural, na, yung, mga norm, yung mga pangkaraniwang tao, sanay ho kasi tayo, CHB o kaya ha, concrete hollow blocks ang ginagamit, no, yung conventional type na paggawa. Kung baga yun yung inaasahan, ng marami na matibay at least masanay sila. So sa nakita ko kasi mayroong mga plastic, may mga sembord data at iba pa. So ano pong technology at sino ho ang nagde-decide kung ano pong technology ang gagamitin, no? Uh, or or are these technologies yung mga per, mga forms na yon? Ano ba ito? Uh, lahat ba ito ay uh, atin pong uh, approve or uh, inaprubahan ng anang uh, ahensya. Siguro si GM Chito or uh, Pagunsan kin uh, para lang ma ma maintindihan din ng mga ibang pangkaraniwang tao na yung iba doon na maninipis, technology 'yon, tingin ko no, new Apa. technology 'yon, no? Bagong forma. Kaya lang siguro ang karaniwan kasi at sa ating makababayan, sanay tayo na si uh, concrete hollow blocks na binubuhusan ng ng simento para mas matibay. Siguro po uh, konting ano, siguro pariwanan din lang. Siguro po uh, just uh, an explanation po. Um, kasi kung anong nangyari itong mga kal kalamidad, uh, alam naman ho natin sabay-sabay. Jim, sorry ah. Sorry to interrupt you. But uh, nakalimutan ko, uh, pwede ho tumayo lahat para for mag-out lang ho kayo uh, para sa kumiting ito. Mag magsitayo ho lahat at uh, si Comsec, pakipo. Please administer the oath. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in the Senate inquiry? Uh, Mr. Chair, for the record, all the resource person, the persons under, answered in the affirmative. Okay, you may now take your seat, siya. GM uh, Chito, please. Uh, siguro, pagpatuloy uh, nyo na lang po yung ano, inyo pong... Sige uh, po. Um, uh, ang sabi ko nga po, yung uh, nung nag... Uh, kalamidad ko kasi yung ating uh, 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 mga pabahay na ginawa, no? Uh, alam po natin, sunod-sunod yung naging kalamidad at uh, yung kumisan po malalayo yung mga lugar. No? Katulad po yung isang nakita natin sa Katiil, ang naging problema po doon yung supply po ng, uh, ng hollow blocks. Ka, kahit, po, uh, kahit po gusto nang natin na gamitin yung hollow blocks, wala hong available uh, doon sa market po. No? So, ang ginagawa po natin, uh, ang ginawa po ng, ng ating uh, ng NHA po, eh, nag-accredit uh, nag po ng iba't ibang mga uh, pamamaraan o yung technology na tinatawag natin. Meron po tayong opisina na interagency po, ang tawag dito, ITEC, na kung saan ang member dito, uh, DPWH, UP, 
Dito, GMG uh, to doon sa mga lugar, ta, sorry no, sa mga lugar walang mga CHP available o yung ganong karami siguro ang problema, yung production. Yung, yung sabay po, yung iba ho sa sobrang layo, walang available na hollow blocks. Yung iba naman po, dahil sabay-sabay, maraming ginagawa. Hindi masupply. Hindi masupply. So, gumamit po ng technology. Ang, ang totoo niyan, mas, kumisa mas mahal pa yung yung technology dahil buhos yun kesa compared dun sa regular hollow block. Uh, yun naman pong lahat ng technology yung ginamit dito sa atin sa NHA, hindi po natin pinagagamit kapag wala pong iTech accreditation. Ibig sabihin, dumaan po ito dun sa masusing pag-aaral ng isang interagency para po ma-adapt natin sa ating uh, housing development. Kapag uh, wala pong uh, accreditation from from iTech hindi po natin pinapagamit kasi po pinag-aaralan ng iTech para masu, mga susi pinag-aaralan para nang sa ganun mas sigurado ngang matibay yung ating mga paggagawa um, uh, if if i may mr chairman i i think uh, yung yung uh, ibang uh, tiga NHA may presentation then to to probably explain some of the some of the issues raised in the documentary as well as yung present status po nito if if uh, they will be allowed to to show the, their presentation sige po uh, mamaya uh, will allow also the NHA para maintindihan din po ng iba no kaya naman natin to binubuksan uh, para di maintindihan din ng iba yung bakit ho nag uh, ganun inemploy natin bawi yung technology at least napapaliwanag nyo for yung ngayon hindi na, hindi alam ng iba na yun po yung mga problemang walang uh, CHB o ibang ibang, ibang materials na hindi po available doon po sa methodology na ginagamit or siguro sino po ang ang, ang decide pero ko kayong unit no yung kanilang binanggit nyo ilan ilang ilang ilan hong uh, uri o ilang technology uh, o methodology ang ginamit yung perma ay may permaform ba yon no ba nakita ko kanina parang may, may may mga plastic may form eh no na parang ibubuhusan so ilang ilang uri ilang classic technology ang ginamit natin Mr. Chairman good afternoon Uh, sa nabanggit nga ni GM Chito, uh, mayroon tinatawag na iTech uh, Accreditation of Innovative Technologies. Ang NHA po yung secretariat, so may office po sa National Housing Authority, yung Housing Technology and Development Office, HTDO. Siya po ang nagsaserve na secretariat. Ito pong iTech, yung chair po nito is HADC, ang members po nito DPWH, UP, Uh, alam ko po, DTI and some technical offices po, ino-evaluate nila yung iba-iba pong applications for innovative technology. Ang ibig pong sabihin, siguro po mas mabilis, lalo na po sa calamity housing. Maliban po, of course, uh, I am sure dahil ho, sinusuri ito ho talaga ng isang technical panel ho, ina-approve ho muna ito bago ho pinapagamit. So, iba-iba po ang beneficyo ng uh, ito pong mga technology and one of them uh, foremost is uh, dahil nga ho innovative, dapat po medyo mabilis because we are responding to a calamity. Kaya po ang makikita ninyo, yung iba-ibang na ginagamit sa iba-ibang uh, proyekto ng NHA, meron hong gumagamit ng uh, the regular uh, CHB And then yung iba po gumagamit ng technology pero po hindi ho pinapagamit yung technology kung hindi po nakapasa ito sa iTech sa isang masusing pagsusuri ng technical uh, team po na kasama na nga yung UP, uh, nasabi ko DOST, DTI, DPWH po. Sila po ang maliban sa technical personnel ng, uh, ng NHA. So hindi lang po NHA ang nagde-decide po nito. Mr. Chairman. Actually, mukhang ang naging problema, GM Bagonsa, no? doon sa mga pinakita, mukhang karamihan doon sa mga technology. Yung mga umuuga, no? um, yung mga walang naman yung loob. Okay naman ho yung bagong technology. Kaya lang, hindi siguro naintindihan ng pangkarin yung mamamayan. Talagang nasanay ho tayo sa conventional way na CHBs, konkreto. No? Kaya, ang problema ho lang dito, problema ko lang ho dito, halimbawa, tama sabi ni GM Chito Cruz, mas matibay ito supposedly, at mas mahal dahil nga buhos, no? forma, bubuhusan. So, dapat, mas matibay dapat. Ang problema siguro, kapag medyo nagkaroon ng problema sa workmanship at yung po sa materyales. No? And yan po ang ating pong gustong malaman ngayong hapon. Kaya nga inipitan din natin ng mga subcontractors kasi nga bagamat ang supposedly ang sabi, bawal ang subcontracting pero 
ayon sa aming pagsasaliksik, marami sa mga contractors na nakakuha ng mga proyekto ay mga base po dito sa Maynila at uh, base sa Luzon. Pero karamihan po ang mga proyekto ay nasa Visaya. So, gusto natin malaman. And even Mayor Ben Climaco attested na mukhang sabgon ang mga naggumawa at tumrabaho doon sa 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 kanilang area sa Sambuanga, no? Um doon po sa ating mga contractors um siguro mamaya tatanungin na lang natin dire ang ilan sa inyo kasi ang problema yung ang problema natin um yung sistema po natin kasi lowest bidder na, no? Sa ating pong pagbigay sa proyekto, maglo lowest bid na tayo and then tapos kung isa subcon pa natin, tapos magpapapakyaw pa mukhang doon tayo magkakaroon ng problema. So, kung baga may sa Metro Manila, kung bawa, dito pala sa Metro Manila, pag nakuha yung proyekto, deny yung, deny, halimbawa, yung presyo ng, uh, yung bid, para lang makuha yung proyekto, tapos ipapasab ko mo sa Visayas, kung baga, babawas mo na lahat, ay eh, talagang kadalasan, baka yun po ang problema. No? Yun ang sa tingin ko, baka ang pro naging punot dula kung bakit nagkaroon ng subcontract, sub, ng, ng sub-standard, uh, no ng mga proyekto. So dahil lang syempre pag kumbaga wala nang maiiwan, mababa na ang presyo, ay eh, talagang magsasuffer doon yung workmanship at yung kalidad ng uh, ng ating po mga mga ginamit na materyales. If you have ano sa akin makulig so if you have anything you might want to ask, ha, just uh, say so anytime. Senator Grace po. Yes, Mr. Chair. Habang nandito yung mga nandito ba yung mga yung mismo mga contractor nandito, hindi lang yung subcontractor. Sino yung Uh, nandito ba sa panel natin ngayon yung contractor in charge yun sa pinakita na documentary yung mga bahay on stilts sa Sambuanga? Meron ba? Nandito ba sila? Engineer, engineer po ba kayo, Mr. Latrago? Yes, Your Honor. So, nakita mo naman, ano, yung pinakita, lahat tayo na naririto. Ano, ano nangyari? Ba't yan ay nakalusot naman sa'yo na kahoy ang ginamit ninyo na nabubulok sa tubig? Sir, pakisagot po. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, good afternoon, Your Honor. If I may, uh, I will just clarify the report of Mr. Ted Fagan. Okay. Kasi po, uh, nakanote po doon, uh, ang contractor daw po ng Valley Vista Paceport is HGL. The contractor of Valley Vista Paceport is RR Cabo Constructors Incorporated, Your Honor. So, kayo uh, nga yung gumawa? No? Yes po, kami po. Okay. Um, kung uh, pwede po, magbigay lang ako ng konting background doon sa project namin. Kasi um, during the time na nag-participate kami sa bid and na-award sa amin, nabigyan po kami ng notice to proceed, um, binigyan din po kami ng specification ng lahat ng mga materialis na gagamitin ng NHA. Oh. Uh, and then, um, given na yung project po is already at phase 4, meaning there, meron ng existing phase 1, phase 2, and phase 3, na gumagamit rin po ng same plans and specification para dun sa project. So, we assume na okay po yung design ni NHA for the house on steel, which is yung purely wooden materials po. Teka, yung phase one, hindi kayo yon. Ah, hindi po, Your Honor. Pero ganun na yung pagkagawa. Yes po, Your Honor. Pare-parehas po ng design. So, lahat po kayo yun. puro kahoy. Pero ikaw, engineer yes, ka. Um, ano ba ang katungkulan mo doon? Anong rangko mo? Ikaw ba yung nagdedesisyon? Papano? Ako po yung project manager po doon sa... Okay, sa, pero sa, yeah. ikaw ba ay papayag na gano'n ang titiran mo? Personal, hindi po. Okay. Yeah, yes. um, NHA, sino ang sa NHA ang kausap ninyo? Uh, NHA Region 9, Your Honor. So sa, saan sa yun, Mindanao? Sambuanga City. Sambuanga. Nandito po ba, NHA? Pakisabi nga sa amin, paano niyo pinayagan ng ganun specification? Sa alam niyo, tubig ang titirikan nun. Ha, na puro kahoy. I, um, pakiliwanagan din, ano? Kayo bang NHA ang nag-a-approve at tagi inspect ng faces ng pagtatayo ng mga struktura? Ma'am. Um, magandang hapon po sa Honorable Senator Grace po. Yung paggamit po ng kahoy, Uh, ito po ay yung budget po na naibigay for the houses on stilts was not enough to uh, initially po kasi concrete ang amin talagang design. Uh, and then we have coordinated with DPWH and got uh, the DPWH response 
lumilitaw po na kada isang housing unit, kung, ga, kung concrete po siya, it would cost 542,000. E samantalang yung budget lang po na binigay po sa amin ay 150,000 per unit. So sumulat po kami kay Secretary Singson informing him that with that budget we can only generate 933 units. Ang need po ay more than 3,000 units. So we we to uh, we wrote uh, Senator C uh, Secretary Singson that we need 1.2 billion para ma-meet po namin yung ganun pong need. And then umabot po ng mahigit na po 6 uh, months wala pa rin po kaming natanggap na response. Uh, marami na pong taong namamatay sa mga evacuation centers. So, we need to decide. So, uh, we told Secretary Singson na meron kaming mga IP housing projects na kahoy po ang ginagamit doon po sa Sulu, sa Tawi-Tawi. Sa at, tubig po. Sa tubig po. Okay. At uh, starting lang, uh, ng 20... Sorry to interrupt, no, ma'am. Baga, kahit sa tubig yung mga housing yung housing on steels, pero kung gagamitin ang kahoy na bakawan, yung galing sa mamangrove, hindi mabubulok. Ang problema po doon sa housing na particular ginamit nyo, iba po yung, ang, ano pong kahoy ang ginamit ninyo? Oh. Paki, ano nga? Kasi uh, kung bakawan yun, hindi mabubulok yun eh. Kasi yung mga uh, boats naman, kahoy rin, di ba? So, pa, ano? Yes po yan. Ang nakaspecify po sa kontrata namin, Your Honor, is um, for the wooden post, it is tambulian Or it's, or it's equivalent. Uh, for the good lumber, it is um, Jamilina, or it's equivalent. So, pwede ba yun, engineer? Yung, um, may... yung tungkol naman po dun sa bakawan po, uh, since uh, ban species po siya ni DNR, kaya hindi po talaga pwedeng magtutun. Hindi, pero yung ginamit ninyong substitute, yun ba'y pwede sa tubig? Um, yun, po, yun po yung honor yung in-specify sa amin na gamitin po. Alam nyo, um, <laughs> Ganito, no? kaya nga may mga pagdinig eh para matuto. Siyempre, pinakauna kaligtasan, di ba? So tama naman yung sinasabi ninyo, nag-aalala na kayo dahil marami na nga na namamatay sa evacuation centers, pero band-aid solution pa rin yun kasi masisira din yung mga bahay na yun. At um, siguro simpleng katanungan na lang sa NHA at sa mga contractors dito, kayo ba titirahan ninyo yung mga pinagagawa ninyong bahay? Parang hindi naman siguro kung kaya ninyo, no? Meron sewage system ba yon? Your Honor, sa plano po talagang may STP dapat. Uh, pero sabi po sa amin ng DBM, hindi po namin mandato ang mag-provide o mag-construct ng STP. So the budget of 527 million was given to Lua instead of us. So, pero meron? Meron po dapat. Dapat, pero alam ba ninyo kung meron o wala? Kasi ayaw naman natin Hindi. dumiretso Nag sa tubig. Nag-provide po kami ng temporary na uh, septic tank, yung kotek po. Para lang po makalipat po ang mga tao sa mga housing units. So temporary po muna ang aming nilagay hanggat ma-construct na po ng luwa yung STP talaga. Okay. Mr. Chair, Siguro Madam para, Chair. Uh, uh, may I just finish my points, please? Okay. Just to wrap up, um, ano ngayon ang gagawin ninyo na nakita na ninyo gano'n ang sitwasyon para maayos yung mga bahay na yun na hindi naman mahulog ang mga tao nakatira doon? Um, Unang-una po sana po mamin. Ah, si GM na lang po sasak. Thank you, Your Honor. If I may respond to that. As the new general manager, right now, Your Honor, I have already instructed our team on the ground that when we came in in 2016, Phase 1, Phase 2, and Phase 3 were substantially completed. It was only phase four that were initial. That was at its initial stage. I have made it very clear, Your Honor, that we will revise the phase four uh, pending the investigation as well as the, the rectification of all of these things. Second is I have already pulled out all of resources together, our uh, technical as well as financial, to look into and review the overall plan for stilt housing, Your Honor. We believe that the silt housing is a permanent resettlement. Therefore, all other facilities therein should also be permanent. We do not also believe, Your Honor, that the use of wooden would be something permanent. That is just temporary in nature. Uh, yes, Your Honor. So we are now on, on our inventory of the resource available. We still have some savings. But it is a policy, Your Honor, of this... <clears throat> 
of this administration that we really don't mind having to invest for the safety and security of the people of Zamboanga. So we will be proposing, Your Honor, the bigger scope of redeveloping and redesigning the stilt housing of Zamboanga. Those are the three items, Your Honor, that are on the ground, on the table for discussion as well as for decision. Thank you. It seems like you're very knowledgeable and uh, goals-oriented. We will see to it, especially when the budget season comes, if you've achieved those uh, particular goals or are on the way of achieving them. Mr. Chair, I think you're in good hands. You're with women here who are very... <laughs> Uh, who are such advocates of uh, the, the family unit. Kaya mag-ingat kayo kasi puro babae nagbabantay ngayon dito sa committee na to. So with that, uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Senator Chair. Grace, uh, for uh, joining us. Uh, before yeah. Senator Risa, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of the, chairman, the chairperson of the Committee on Finance, uh, Senator Lorena de Garda. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll just speak um, after my term. I mean, my turn, when my turn comes, after yes, Senator Ontivero. Senator Risa. Yes, Senator Risa. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, isang comment lang po dun sa isang sinabi ni Architect uh, Maria Alma, hindi naman pwedeng sabihin siguro dati o ngayon ng NHA na hindi mandate ng NHA siguruhin na may banyo dun sa bahay. Kasi wala namang tao o pamilya na pwedeng tumira sa bahay na walang banyo na sabihin shop yan ng luwa. Tama naman. Pero meron din naman tayong ahensyang HADC na coordinative sa lahat ng mga aspetong iyon para maging livable yung bahay. And then pangalawa po Mr. Chair, follow up question dun sa isang tanong ni Sen. Grace kanina. Ano po ba, yung, yung halimbawa ng anong klasing kahoy pansamantala sa ngayon ang gagamitin sa stilt housing, isang halimbawa ng uh, dapat minomonitor ng NHA. So follow up lang po kay uh, architect Valenciano, paano ba yung inspection of projects na nangyayari? Pwede nyo po bang ilarawan sa committee ito kung papaano isinasagawa yung um, prosesong iyan ng inspection? Thank you, Your Honor. Ang kada project po namin, meron po kaming project inspector. Uh, ideally, dapat dalawa po per project. Kaya lang, uh, because of our limited uh, personnel, one inspector per project po. And then, um, ang mas, mataas po dito, meron ta din tayong supervising engineer. And then, meron tayong district manager sa above the hierarchy and then the regional manager. So, itong project inspector po natin, everyday po dapat nag inspect sila doon sa construction. At uh, even po sa pagsusupply pala ng materials, andun din po sila para ma-check po yung mga dumadating na materials. And then dun sa tatlo pang mas matataas na levels of inspection, paano nila dapat ino-oversee yung pag-inspect ng project inspector? And all the way up, ano po yung mandate nila para siguruhin na yung original na plano ay talagang naisasagawa at mas spot nila kapag may problema na may mga reklamo na ang mga kliyente ng NHA para ito ay malutas? Kaming mga complaint desks sa office po namin. Kaya kung meron po tayong mga residents na may reklamo, pumupunta po sila sa opisina. At kung defective yung projects, if at any level may red flags na nire-raise itong mga in-charge sa inspection process, at kung yung overall evaluation ng isang proyekto ay defective ito, hindi po ba tama na dapat hindi ito tatanggapin ng NHA? Hindi po ba? Opo. Um, actually, pag meron po kaming nakikita mga defects, nag-i-issue po ng site instruction yung aming mga site engineers doon sa mga developers na kailangang magawa po nila ito at maayos po nila. Of course, Mr. Chair, para umabot sa isang judgment on the part of NHA na hindi acceptable yung isang proyekto or defective siya, ibig sabihin, may mga nilalabag na standards or rules and policies. Uh, Mr. Chair, sino, kanino kayang contractor ko pwedeng itanong, what are the rules and policies for contractors to follow? Para malaman po ng komite kung familiar ba sila. Uh, Mr. Chair, sino kayang contractor ang pwede kong tanungin? Gusto kong malaman kung ano ba ang policies and rules na dapat sundin ng mga contractor at kung alam nila ito. Then, i-check natin sa NHA kung ito nga ba o ito, ito nga lamang ba ang mga rules at policies. Siguro sa mga ano, sino pwede mag ano? Sige, Mr. Eduardo Ramon. Hindi ko makita. Pakisabi lang yung pangalan. For our... Ay, Mr. Dimaano, sa Buwanga City. I'm also the president of the Association of Local Contractors. 
generally if we have a contract, we see the contract and we should, uh, as a contractor, we should follow the contract uh, as is. No? Any changes in the contract should have a change order. So hindi lang kami pwede basta sabihin, we will change the wood, we will change the plan. Every changes in the plan should be approved by the procuring entity, in, in this case, NHA. No? So, if the contractor is well-versed or matured, he will not act on anything that is not approved by NHA. And, and usually, we make a communication. No? So, hindi pwede mangyari na may changes without approval of the NHA. Of course, Mr. Dimaano, yung uh, pagbabago sa isang proyekto na walang change order na sinabi nyo, again, isang halimbawa lang ito ng posibleng paglabag sa, I'm sure, mas maraming policies at rules ng NHA sa mga contractors. Aware po ba ang mga contractors, sa, at least sa karanasan nyo sa mga uh, local contractors sa Sambuanga City, mulat po ba yung mga local contractors na ito sa mga consequences kapag hindi maayos na sinunod uh, o kinonstruct yung mga bahay batay sa mga specified standards na nire-require ng ating batas o ng NHA mismo. Aware po ba sa consequences? Yes po, because before a project is bidded, meron kami po pre-bidding conference. All the concerns of the contractor, you can ask it on the pre-bidding conference. So it is assumed that if you're a contractor, you know the procurement law and you know the specifications of the contract. Uh, fortunately, sa Sambuanga kami, we, our association have seminars to teach the new ones the rules of construction. Alam nyo, Mr. Chair, at this point na alalo ko yung isang napaka, may I say, tumpak na tanong ng counterpart nyo sa house, si Rep. Albi, na kasama ni na Mayor Beng at uh, Rep. Lobregat sa napaka nakakatakot, nakakashock na insidenting yun recently. Tinanong po ni Rep. Albi sa isang forum, um, malamang nandun din si Chair JV, na, di ba, uh, kapag sa, sa market, kapag may nagbebenta ng produkto, pag hindi binili ng mamimili, walang kita yung nagbebenta. Kapag, pag, kapag uh, may nag-aalok ng serbisyo sa market, hindi ito ibinili, hindi pinrocure ng, ng mga kliyente, walang kita yung, yung uh, nag-offer ng service na iyon sa market. Yung tanong po ni Rep. Albi, no, naalala ko ngayon eh, sa hearing natin ito, Sa, pag, sa uh, construction po, sa mga contractors, may talo ba sa ganitong housing projects? Or para ba siyang sovereign guarantee na kahit hindi up to yung uh, uh, pre-bidding conference, hindi ayon sa procurement law, hindi tumutupad sa specs, kaya't sasabihin ngayon substandard or mababa ang utilization or maraming reklamo ang kliyente halimbawa ng NHA, fully paid pa rin ba? Or Metalo ba sa contractors? Construction industry is a business. No? In other words, there, we can lose money. We can profit or we can lose money. So contractors really has to study the plans no? and competitive bidding. But so uh, if you bid low, you try to profit. But in my 36 years experience, no, if you're a a good contractor, you will never sacrifice quality. Minsan, mas matalo kami basta magawa ang plano according to plans and specs. Because if you do it against uh, in accordance with plans and specification, very safe. Any investigation will come, you are safe. You can answer everything. Pero, Sir Dimaano, sa, uh, sa karanasan at pagkaalam nyo rin, uh, are there contractors who do sacrifice on quality and yet walang talo sa negosyo and yet kumikita sila? I have to tell the truth. Some contractors that sometimes sacrifice quality no, to survive. Pero uh, parang hindi tama sabihin na it's, it's unfair to tell. No? But facts of life na may mga contractor na Especially if the owners sometimes are not engineer, uh, they are less concerned on the quality of the quality of the work.
Actually, sir, it's not unfair at all to to tell the truth and appreciate po nang namin dito sa komite yung candor nyo. Salamat, Mr. Chair. At this point, I'll Thank just you, follow up Lisa, on the no? other presentation. Yeah, just uh, say so anytime, Senator yeah. Lored, because she has to uh, another. I've, I only have five thing. minutes, so maybe that's a relief for everybody here. I wish I had all the hours, but I have so much work. Yes, but uh, Mr. Chairman, I appreciate first of all the presence of everyone here. Uh, second, I appreciate you're not leaving the issue. And I hope that we could just not talk, 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 but really find solutions. So let me just state first that the documents that I requested for during our first hearing last week, <coughs> was it last week or two weeks ago, are not yet complete. There have been partial submissions by the National Housing Authority, but it's not yet complete. Uh, will the ComSec bear me out? Yes. So remember, we discussed it and we said that these documents should be submitted by NHA before sundown on that day. What was the exact day, ComSec? There were, we appreciate, thank you to NHA for submitting the documents, but it's not yet complete. So can we complete it? Uh, because that's part of your job. It's not a report that you need to do. It's a report that you should have if the task is being performed. Now, Mr. Chairman, may I also put on record uh, all, well, not all, some more projects where we have target beneficiaries of poor, vulnerable populations, Filipinos, funded by the national government, maybe not even under my watch as chair of finance, but even before, where they should submit a report to the committee. Housing program for Yolanda victims, which we're looking at, for internally uh, displaced or ISFs residing in Metro Manila danger areas. Housing program for Zamboanga, siege or crisis victims, that's why Mayor Beng is here. Housing program for Sendong, uh, that's Region 10, that was many years ago. Housing assistance for calamity victims in general, there's a, a lump sum fund for that. AFP, BFP, BJMP, Bukor <laughs> housing program that is not uh, partial, only partially occupied. The major resettlement program, housing for Pablo, we've discussed at last time, but it's uh, also not complete report. Settlements upgrading, resettlement program for ISFs affected by the Supreme Court's mandamus to clear the Manila Bay area. And that is three regions, NH, um, NCR 34A. So all the LGUs around have resettlement issues and NHA is mandated to also help that. And there's been funding given to that construction of community facilities for existing relocation sites, and uh, Marawi transitional housing. So these are just some of what I know are funded by the national government to NHA. Marami pa pong iba. So yan po ang hihingi natin, maliban sa hinihingi po natin na kompletong documentation sa diniscuss sa unang hearing. Pangalawa, base sa 2016, at 2016 lang to ha, COA report, sa AFP, PNP, BGMP, BFP, ISFs, Yolanda Housing, the occupancy rate of the completed housing units, maybe it's been mentioned, but I have to state it, is 76,004 or 49.83% of the completed housing units. Ano po ang dahilan? Masyadong maliit ang mga bahay for a family, lack of basic facilities, pinag-usapan natin, and no access road. The military and police housing, were assigned to various locations, provinces in the country na hindi naman sila pupunta ron. Lack of funds daw to improve the assigned housing units. So why will you design something where there's lack of funds? So just do what's available. And waiting for the development of the housing sites. I don't understand this reason. Lack of consultation with the beneficiaries. There should be consultation. That's why the LGUs must be involved. Absence of a master list. I don't understand. How can you do something when you don't even know who the beneficiaries are? The provision of the individual loan agreement and a deed of assignment that the beneficiary shall pay for the amortization upon occupancy of the HUs instead of upon the award of HUs. I don't understand. Uh, so these are just some of the reasons or COA findings. I know the COA can sometimes be so strict. Sabi natin, because unreasonable. I'm just putting it on record. So ang hinihingi ko po sa NHA, sa dating nanunungkulan po at sa kalusalukuyan na nunungkulan, yung report lahat dito. At hindi lang po report, hindi ba hiningi po natin, at nangako yung kontrakto na nakaupo dyan noon yung sa Sambuanga, na yung stilts dahil uh, inamin niya, yan ay mabubulok po sa tubig, ay hindi pa naman kompletong bayad, 
Nangako po siya, nandito ba ho siya? Oo, on record. Ayan, mabait ka. Mukha na mabait eh. Si engineer, gagawin mo ng ayos. ba? Diba? Hindi na yung kahoy na nabubulok sa tubig. At inamin ng NHA, dahil yun daw ang budget, hindi naman kasha sa total beneficiaries. Eh, bakit natin gagawin? Hindi kung sino lang beneficiary, tapos hingi kayo ulit. Ganun po. So, I'm sorry, I have a 2.15 meeting in my office. Uh, okay, nandiyan na nga yung kausap ko. I just put that on record, and may I request the chair to follow up with those questions. I, I will give you my whole briefer for the chair. But we will have another hearing, I am sure. Thank you very much Thank for you. your patience. Nothing personal. I just really want to solve, help solve these problems. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Loren. Siguro gawin na lang natin, no? since um, we'll take advantage of uh, the presence of Mayor Beng, who's here uh, for the second uh, second time. And likewise, doon na tayo sa Sambuanga, and then we go to Yolanda after. No? Siguro yung mga concerns, eh, andito na rin po, nagsumagot tayo ilang contractors uh, sa Sambuanga. So bago tayo mag-ano, ilang, ilang, ilang concerns, siguro, Senator Risa, no? if you have any concerns with Zamboanga. Siguro na tanong, tanong ko lang, balikan ko lang, no? Ang, ang una, ano po yung kahoy na nakaspecify ng una dapat na gagamitin? Tama, sabi nyo kanina, Jamilina, ang ginamit, no? Tama ba? Jamilina. Uh, for the good lumber, Your Honor, it's Jamilina or Jamilina. it's equivalent. Yun ang nakaspecify. Ano po ang ginamit nyo, Jamilina? Um, actually, prior to the issued total log ban by the, the DNR, um, gumamit po kami ng mga hardwood na sinasabi natin which is yung um, apitong uh, apitong mga, uh, yes sir mga, yung mga hardwood your honor De, pero so, yes uh, sa sen risa sorry chair pasingit lang about Jamelina oh, i'm glad po engineer binanggit niyo yung uh, hardwood Kasi nga, uh, ang Jamelina, malimit gamitin sa reforestation. Fast-growing variety po yan. Matibay po ba yan? Pwede po ba talaga sa stilt housing? At saka sa tubig? I'm sorry, Honor, but uh, nag-follow lang po talaga kami dun sa um, binigay sa aming uh, specs. I understand the engineer, energy. pero yeah. sabi nga ni San Grace din kanina, engineer nga kayo, Sa pagkaalam nyo ba, ang isang fast-growing variety ay maaaring may katibayan din sa tubig tulad ng hardwood? Um, wala po, Your Honor, in my own opinion. Thank you. So, pero yung nakita po natin, yung po ginawa nyo yung kanina, yung pong pinakita. Kayo pong gumawa nun, no? Yes, Your Honor. Yung pong um, medyo nabulok, anong kahoy yes, po yun? Yung mismong nabulok? Um, yung nabulok Jamilina na, Honor, o apitong? Uh, that's uh, mahogany okay. yung uh, yeah. pero alam nyo ba na o oh, hindi nyo alam na ino, na hindi ito pwede sa tubig pero alam nyo na dapat bakawan o oh, yung mga ganong quality sana uh, ganong type ang dapat na ginamit hindi ba? Uh, yes your honor kaso po um, yung nag uh, nagkaroon ng strict implementation po si DNR uh, hinuhuli nila yung mga mangrove gawa gamit ng yes, bakawan. Yes, yung mga nagpuputol Pero sino po ang nag, nag uh, sino ang nag-approve na gamitin yung Jamelina or yung similar type? Uh, that meron? was specified in the contract your honor. And si NHA Region 9 din po ang uh, nag Yes, um Center Research. Salamat, Chair. Quick lang po ulit sa mahogany. Hardwood po 'yan, 'di ba? Isa po sa pinakamatigas yes, at matibay na hardwood. Yes, Yun ba talaga yung nabulok sa ano? Sa tubig sa doon, sa documentary. At saka uh, ang mahal po noon. <laughs> Mahogany ba talaga yan? Paki-check lang po. Yes po, just for, as per um, investigation accuracy. po on site. Wow, yes, ang, ang mahal noon, Mr. Chair. Haros, di ako makapanibot. Uh, yun po yung mga um, same family, I think, na ila. Siguro before we move on, architect uh, Arma, uh, Alma Valenciano. Sa, ano pong na ano? Inaproba niyo ba yung ano yung uh, Germanina paggamit dahil kayo po ang NHA ba nag-approve ng paggamit ng ini? Uh, Your Honor yung anong uh, uh, March 31, 2015 nagkaroon po ng meeting ang Local Interagency Committee. At doon po sa meeting na yon, meron pong representative ng DNR. So na pag diskusyonan po dahil nagkakaproblema na po ang ating mga developers sinuhuli po sila and then dalawang yung regional manager ko po at district manager ko kinasuhan din po ng anti-lagging kaya nag, may ganito pong problema so diniskas po yun sa liak meeting at napag uh, 
na pag-agrian na gagamitin na kahoy po for the wooden post for foot bridges, acacia manjum, for diagonal bracing, girder, and floor joists of foot bridges, acacia manjum, for flooring of foot bridges, gemelina, mahogany, wooden post for housing on stilts, acacia manjum, all other structural members, Jimena Mahogany. Yung acacia, yung acacia man, yun na sinasabi niya, yun yung yun, 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 poste sa, po. Sa poste. It should be acacia man. So that could withstand, pwede ho siya sa tubig. Yun po, ang sabi po ng DNR. Yun ang sabi ng DNR. Okay. Kaya lang, nakita natin based sa ano, yung meron pong nabulok sa iba. Ano pong gina, di ba? So DNR ang nagsabi na pwedeng um, similar type doon sa Bakawan okay. dahil nga po binawal nila. Kaya lang, mukha nang lumabas talagang hindi. If you can be given the ano lang, para lang sa, for the benefit of this committee, yung contract, because you want to see kung meron pong pagbabago o nabago sa kontrata. Kung meron lang. Kung meron pa kong kopya, please submit to this committee. Siguro, Mayor, Mayor Beng, ha, nandito na rin lang ko. I'll take advantage para hindi na ko bumalik last time. Sabi. Um, ano pong masasabi niyo po rito? No? Um, kayo yung nagka-experience, kayo had the bad experience of falling... Uh, because of uh, the workmanship no uh, or the quality of the of the quality of the materials that were used so ano pong ano siguro ang LGU has has uh, something to ano rin no inaprubahan ba ito ng LGU or uh, na inspect kaya um itong For honors uh, um, yes, when I started the local interagency committee for uh, permanent shelter is only a coordinative body since uh, based on the Republic Act 9184 which is the government procurement act the procuring entities, the NHA, thus those contractors and subcontractors uh, are the ones responsible to coordinate with, and that is why we're appealing to the both houses to really uh, go down to the bottom of it, who are those responsible that have shortchanged the government of the funds. On the part of the local government unit, now that the situation has already happened, we have to really work with the NHA nonetheless. First of all, uh, we're working very hard with uh, GM Escalada to review if we can retrofit fit the uh, existing housing units. Thus, if it can be retrofitted and corrected, then perhaps we really appeal that we must do what is uh, the corrective measure because lives are of the essence. Secondly, the local government unit will still pursue filing uh, legal cases against erring personalities, starting with the local government unit, and even those uh, responsible NHA or contractors in aid of legislation. Thirdly, Your Honours, as what I've, um, based on the previous meetings that we had with Congress, uh, we have come to an uh, agreement uh, with uh, coordination with uh, GM Escalada to review the retrofitting, if there is still budget available. We were telling the committee the other time that sana po hindi nagagastusan puli ng uh, pamahalaan i-correct ang mga measures kasi hindi pa naman siguro sapat na nabayad yung mga contractor. Nakikita natin sinundo di uh, sinunod lang nila yung kontrata. But again, the fact of the matter is it's that the housing units are substandard. So we have to correct. Thirdly, uh, we are still looking at the op possibility of having uh, sanitation because uh, this uh, housing units, after uh, the final project done by NHA, wala po silang sanitation. And that is a very big concern that we have because hindi po pwedeng matanggap ng local government unit ang formal occupancy because we have to abide by the building code of the Republic of the Philippines that includes sanitation, which is uh, very uh, primordial. And the biggest challenge, Your Honor, we hope to move on uh, there is really a need for the NHA to rectify and order the contractors to retrofit and correct so that our housing units will eventually really uh, live up to build back better. Once it's done also, the necessary, um, I think, uh, penalties must be provided uh, to blacklist contractors because there are other housing project units in the city of Sambuanga that do not have such complaints. And fourthly, um, I, w I took on the challenge of GM Escalada. Once it's done and turned over to the city, we would also like to express our gratitude to NHA national government. It's not all accusations, Your Honor. GM Chito Cruz, GM Pagunsan, and uh, GM Escalada are here. We express our gratitude for in the moment of difficulty, the National Housing Authority have put up these housing units. On the other hand, we are also saying that uh, we will take on the maintenance of open spaces. We also need to introduce the responsibility 
on our permanent shelter holders that once the units are turned over to you, you have the responsibility to maintain it. But up to now, we still have not clarified if these housing units will be their permanent housing units. We just awarded um, certificates of acknowledgement that they are entitled to stay. So these three matters, Your Honor, I have to leave to go to the airport because our meeting was rescheduled, but uh, Counts, um, Jawo Jimenez of the housing will stay here. We're really appealing to the body to uh, really um, have the corrective measures, uh, also in aid of legislation, conduct the necessary um, um, legal measures so that those that are responsible, para po hindi na maulit yung uh, in other areas such as Marawi. Muchas gracias, Ivaya con Dios. Uh, thank you, Mayor Beng, uh, for your presence. And at the same time, it's an eye opener for everybody. At least the LGU mismo has, si Mayor Beng, has, uh, siya na po nagsasabi nung una, may sab, may sab, may nagsasab kon, may na, tapos sub standard. And I, I don't think she, and she is very much, uh, uh, very much concerned sa STP, sa sewerage, and uh, sana po maayos siya. And we will, we will go into that. We'll discuss that further. Pero, ma'am, we appreciate your presence and uh, your contributions in aid, in aid of legislation so that all of these things, no, yung mga maling ginawa ng mga contractor, kung meron man, ay hindi na maulit in the future kung sakaling may pagkakamali. So, ma'am, Mayor Beng, Klima ko, salamat po again for uh, being with us and thank you very much for your um for your contributions no uh, in, in this uh, afternoon hearing do mo ko balik ako na lang po si ano no sa ating pong kay engineer sa engineer uh, tagto let letrago ng uh, NK RN Cabo ilan po yung proyekto niyo sa Sambuanga ilan po uh, for the house and still your honor isa lang po isa lang po yes, okay so isa lang, isa lang pala sa inyo do ilan ilan percentage bayad na po kayo total uh, sa progress si billing 60% pa lang nasa po nasa 60% yes, pa lang yeah. okay so, pwede pang i-rectify kung sakasakali, no? uh, as you committed, yung po sa pagkakamali. Yes, um, anyway, tanong ko lang din sa, sino pa ba bang sa contractor sa, uh, doon sa mga nabanggit, sa Sambuanga? So, bago tayo mag-move on. Marami rito, no? Metro um, Stone Ridge, uh, Mr. Arrillado, yeah. uh, Mr. Dimano. Mr. Senator, uh, uh, we are not one of those contractors that did all this uh, you know, defective housing that was shown on the video. But what I would like to make as a statement is just to help you understand the situation in Sambuanga City. Because we were one of those contractors that uh, was awarded a project, but this one we did in Talok Sangay, Sambuanga. And we followed NHA specifications from the very start. That project was awarded to us in November, and we finished that in May, within the six months reglamentary period. And I would like to correct the impression as though all NHA projects are substandard, because I would like to make an exception for our project that we did in Sambuanga. Uh, now, the, the thing that you have to understand, Mr. Senator, that these NHA projects, which are actually socialized housing, uh, Definitely, the margins are very slim, and therefore, the contractors that should be selected are the ones that will not, uh, they're not in that project purely for the money, but for a certain sense of social responsibility, which is actually what we did in Talok Sangay, because Talok Sangay is a place that is very dear to us. My partner, the Mr. Nuno, Bong Nuno, is a... Uh, a native of Sambuanga City. He grew up in that place, Talok Sangay. So when we took on that project, when we bidded for it, and we won that project, we tried to make a showcase of that project. So we provided all the necessary amenities for somebody who is, will stay in those housing units so that the place is livable. We had septic tanks. Uh, we connected the, uh, you know, the toilets to a uh, STP, which was uh, constructed on land, and it is the, the, the waste is not dropped into the water. So in terms of the environment uh, friendliness of that uh, project, it was really there, no? It was a green project. And uh, we adopted a methodology that prevented any waste stage, because we knew very well that the project had to be planned very well, otherwise, we might not make any money at all, no? And for the record, uh, we are proud to say that 
what little money we made from that project, we donated it back to the community because we constructed another 10 housing units for those that could not be accommodated. And on private land, which is actually a property of the Nunos, we dug a deep well and we piped it in to the people so that they have water. And from the 10,000 that was granted by the uh, Department of Social Welfare, the 10,000, that was the one used by the uh, residents to have a, an electric connection. And uh, for the Sorry benefit... Sorry, no, no, to cut you short, yes, um, yes. Mr. Aureliado, but yes. I, do, do I do uh, recognize your, ano, your sincerity. No? Yes. Kasi ako po ay, baka rin hindi alam ng lahat, ako po ay bago pumasok sa public service, I was also a contractor in at yes. some point in my life. No? Yes, and... I... I uh, I, I, I was engaged in real estate development, uh, packet developments in the Calabarzon area nung pong mga uh, time ng Asian boom at saka uh, Asian crisis. So, yes. naabutan ko pareho. And I was able to also to do some sub, uh, socialized housing projects no, for OFWs. Kaya, meron ako knowledge on sa margins. Talagang yes. totoo yung sinabi niyo, Mr. Orellado. Because of the margins that are set, doon po sa ceiling, talaga napakalito ng margin. Yes, yes. No, kaya nga ho, Concern nga rin po ko, um, kasi kung alam ko na gano'n na nga po kalaki, yung kalit yung margin, kung isa sabkon pa natin, eh talagang wala na may iwan. Yes. Diba? Yes. Kaya more often than not, masasakripisyo dito yung workmanship o kaya yung, yung, uh, yung quality of the, uh, of the materials that will be used. Kasi nga yun po ang concern ko. Kasi ako po ay nag, meron din po kung alam sa construction no? um, yes. uh, in the 90s. Yeah. So, and I'd like to But, commend you. No? So, kung sana ho, kung katulad ho ng kumpanya nyo, I have the, your, the data here. No? Yung Metro Storage Corporation. Yung pong proyekto nyo sa Sambuanga uh, doon sa talong sa kay Muslim Village. Yes. Uh, uh, ang target yes, units is about 200 units. Yes, sir. Completed nyo po. 100%. Ang occupancy nyo, ang occupancy 100%. So, doon po wala tayong problema. Yung payment nyo, you were paid, but yeah. I commend you kasi 100%. Ibig sabihin, yung ginawa nyo po ay maganda, kaya tinirhan. Yes. Ang problema ko po, doon sa iba, na pero po silang bayad, no, meron, bayad po sila, or partially paid, or almost full, fully paid, pero ang occupancy eh, minsan zero at uh, talaga napakababa. So, I commend you. Kung sana ho, katulad ninyo lahat ng contractor na may malasakit na talagang social responsibility, being in social, socialized housing or low-cost housing, tama kayo. Talagang hindi ito malakihan dahil because of the margin. So, I, I commend you. Ano, no? uh, thank you very much. Kung thank sa, you. Thank sana you. kung katulad ninyo lahat ng contractor, eh, wala palagi yung problema. Meron lang ako isang nakuha rin dito. No? Siguro, nandito ba yung Vic si Vicente Lau? Nandito? Or any representative? Tapusin lang natin yung sa Sambuanga. Any representative? Wala. Kasi nandito po sa akin, meron siyang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 projects. So, meron sa Cebu, meron sa Sambuanga. May mga completed units din. Ano? Halos completed yung units. Yung target, ano ba? Sambuanga Siege, 320 Completed, 320. Merong 176, 176. Ang problema ko, yung occupancy niya, yung sa isa, 55%, pero doon sa iba, tatlong proyekto, zero. So, wala ho ba siya dito? Wala. So, since uh, we already sub... We... Meron ba? Kayo po. Sige po, pwede ko kayo. Ano, ano po pangalan nila? Sige pa, maganap na lang kayo na ano. Dito po. Sige pa, kasabi ng pangalan at yung inyong posisyon. Uh, paki, ano muna, admin sir ang oath sa ano, uh, comsec. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in the Senate inquiry? Yes, ma'am. Uh, for the record, Mr. Chair, he answered in the affirmative. Pakisabi lang po ang pangalan at yung designation niyo po sa, sa, sa inyong kumpanya. I am Jose Lindo Cortez and uh, I am from Vicente Tila Construction. 
Um, ano po kayo doon? Anong ano designation niyo? I'm with the legal department, sir. Ah, sa And legal? Uh, unfortunately, uh, Mr. Vicente Lau is uh, somewhere else. I mean, we were we were only informed yesterday through a phone call. And uh, I was just instructed to to attend today's hearing. Sige po, uh, siguro kung ano na na pwede nyo sagutin, no? kung alam nyo, to the best of your knowledge. No? Yes, Kasi sir. po, ang nasa records po namin, sa mga construction sa inyo po mga proyekto, lima po yung sa Samwanga, no? yung target naman ay nagawa nyo, 2,000, total po, no? Sama na natin isa sa Cebu, 2,474 units. Completed nyo is 1,000, ay, wala pa yung sa Cebu, no? Isama na natin sa Samwanga, kompleto yung Samwanga. No, kaya lang ang problema, yung occupancy. 55% doon sa isa, pero yung iba, wala ho. That, that, tatlong, zero per, tatlong zero, walang nakatira, at isang 12%. Ano po kaya ang ano? Anong dahilan nito? Uh, as to the com at completion of the project, sir, uh, I would like to confirm that the, the projects in Zabuanga City were all completed. And as to the occupancy, I... I I don't think uh, the the data. I, I don't want to question the data, but I've seen the projects personally, and I've seen that this this uh, the units that we've cons constructed were already occupied, sir. Sige, baka ma, baka nga mali ito, pero sana po, no? So yung halos lahat galing yes, sa NHA kasi ito, eh. Ang source ito, NHA report status. Ma'am, uh, pwede, pwede nyo pang iyan na to? Um, galing sa inyo itong report? Can you confirm Your kung Honor, tama ba ito? Sa Sambuanga po yung Vitilaw na na bid eh, eh na occupied na po lahat ito. Ah so 100%? 100% po. Ah okay. Kasi dito po mali nakalagay zero eh. Lahat po occupied. Sige po. Do po na will na no. Doon po sa ano, siguro punta na tayo sa Yolanda. Sige ma'am, sige Mr. Dibano. Mr. Chair, can I only have a concern no? uh, in aid of legislation? Uh, we just want to comment, no? The, the Procurement Act allows us to bid through negotiated contract or to invite three bidders, no? I hope this, the Chair can consider that if it's an emergency project, and it is in a locality like Sambuanga, at least a local contractor should be invited. Ang nangyayari kasi po, pag apurahan, puros ang contractor, no offense made, from Manila or out of town. The, the fact is very clear, if it's an emergency, the local contractor can act faster. I just want to make a point so that ma-invite naman ang mga local on condition that we are qualified for the project. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Ang uh, yun nga rin po ang gusto ko malaman eh kasi marami ho ang Manila-based na nakakuha ng mga kontrata. Um, kaya doon po ako nagkakaroon ng duda kung talagang may subcon. No? Kasi nga siyempre eh, proximity, siyempre mas madali kung yung mga local ang makakuha. May Senator Antiveros. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Gusto kong supportahan in principle yung uh, point ni Mr. Dimaano. Actually, may itatanong akong kaugnay niyan. Uh, pag dumako na rin yung hearing natin tungkol sa hinaharap nating Marawi Rehab. Um, so that that matter about uh, pagbigyan ng chance ang mga qualified na local contractors. At saka yung tanong din na uh, why limit contractors to a few AAA contractors? So gusto kong uh, itanong pa yon sa ating mga resource persons uh, mamaya habang dumadali yung hearing natin, Mr. Chairman. Salamat. Thank you. Um, siguro we'll move on sandali sa Yolanda. No? Siguro doon naman sa anong problema kasi dito napuntahan din namin. Um, doon muna tayo sa ano sa choice ng land, no? uh, yung pong yung location. No? Um, andito ba si ano? Yung sa uh, Tacloban City Housing Officer? Uh, andito ba si Ay, Ted uh, Hobson? Uh, nandito ka last time. No? Siguro pakilala ang experience sa committee ito sa Tacloban dahil kayo po ang uh, City Housing Officer. Tama ho ba? Yes. Opo, uh, ano po ang ano, pakilahad na lang po bilang housing officer? Kaugnay sa siguro yung location, land acquisition, land acquisition ng mga resettlement sites. Ang una po, yung lugar namin sa Tacloban North, 
napilig po yung kasi malayo sa storm surge pati walang tinatawag natin na flooding o landslide prone area. At the same time, mura po yung lupa ron sa north. Uh, at kung sa south tayo, problema tayo, makukunti lang yung lugar doon sa south going to south, uh, ano ba yun, south? Going to the south, maliit lang yung lupa, yung area. Whereas ang going to the north, ma maluwag yung area namin doon. So ang ang sistema namin, kaya namin gusto yung north, para ma-develop din. Kasi mura pa nga, sabi ko nga, mura yung lupa ron. Ilang yun? Yun, yun po, yun yung owner. So siguro tanong, tanong ko lang, um, Sir Hobson, no? Kasi po yung may, may, may mga may mga ibang uh, reklamo na malayo, no? Hmm. Um, mal malayo sa kabiasnan, um, walang livelihood. Uh, na experience ba to sa North, yung sa sinasabi mo sa Tacloba North? Kasi kung that's about 15 kilometers from the downtown. And yet, we provide transportation to the North. A free transportation. As a matter of fact, it's the only city that provides a solar or electric car going to the North. Um, we provided also a livelihood, okay, in the sense that there are a lot of NGOs who help us. So it's a leverage on our part because uh, during Yolanda, there are lots of uh, faith-based organizations na tumutulong sa amin. Ang advantage lang sa North, sabi ko nga, is malaki pa yung lugar at para ma-develop. Ginan po. Tanong ko na siya, si Senator Tiberas may itatanong, pero may itatanong ako mamaya sa inyo. Salamat, Mr. Chair. Um, Mr. Hobson, uh, na-appreciate ko po na yung sinabi nyo nga, nagpo-provide po kayo ng transportasyon uh, sa mga mga relocatees or mga post-disaster na mga residente nyo. Uh, Pero related din po sa isang gusto ko sanang itanong. Actually, in relation sa Marawi, pero dahil nabanggit nyo na rin, I'd appreciate yung thoughts nyo on this, na bakit ba hindi tayo pwedeng pumili ng mga kahit mas maliliit na parcel ng lupa at kahit magkaroon ng mas maliliit na proyekto, pero malamang mas malapit sa original places of residence ng mga tao. Kahit pa, mas magiging magastos ito sa mga contractors na mga nga ilangang mag-transport ng mga supplies nila across more places. Madalas kasi naririnig po namin na kaya mas malalaking parcel ng lupa, mas malalapit sa mga urban center, sa convenience din po ng mga contractors na oh, nga, mag magko-construct at para mabawasan yung transportation cost nila. Pero anong thoughts nyo sa pagbalanse nito dun sa hindi lang convenience din naman ng mga magiging uh, residente, pero yung mas access nila Uh, dun sa dati na nilang tirahan at sa mga dati or bago nilang lugar kung saan sila uh, magtatrabaho. Ang nangyari po kasi, before Yolanda, meron na kaming project sa North. Ang LGU owns about 86, uh, 89 hectares of property sa North. Meron plano doon na mag, uh, gagawing Eastern Visayas Regional Growth Center. That was during the time of President Ramos. 1996, may MOU na. So, nagtanong sa amin kasi after Yolanda, emergency, kami, LGU, we have a property. So, tumulong sa atin yung mga NGOs like GMA Capuso, Habitat for Humanity, uh, Lions International, UNDP, PICE, Global Medic, at marami pa. So, we provided the space, the area. Ang sa NSA naman, sila nagpili sa North. <coughs> It's not us. It's not the LGU. Kung gayon, Mr. Chair, just a quick follow-up sa NHA. Ano naman po ang tingin ninyo sa ganyang uh, ideya na sa halip na malalaking parcel, uh, malalaking proyekto, na bagamat mas convenient sa contractors in terms of reducing transport, supplies transportation costs, but hindi kaya mas maliliit na parcel, mas maliliit na proyekto na mas convenient or mas uh, sustainable 
sabihin po natin sa mga magiging residente? Uh, sorry, Your Honor. Tapusin ko lang. Ang nangyari kasi, kung given a chance, we rather have malapit sa city. Okay? Uh, it, kasi, mawawala na yung tinatawag ito yung mga basic utilities na problema. May tubig na, may kuryente, malapit sa eskulahan, malapit sa livelihood. Ang problema lang, that during a time of emergency, and you know, to buy a property within the city, it's very expensive. You cannot buy 1,000 pesos per square meter. But in the long run, even buying at 1,000 pesos, ito naman ha, thinking ahead, at 1,000, even 1,500, nakasave naka ka eh sa mga utilities. Nadyan na yun, established na yun, uh, uh, what, uh, water supply, electric, power, eskulahan, livelihood. Yun po. Jim Escalada, would you care to comment on that uh, Thank you, Your question? Honor. <clears throat> the choice of the Tacloban North Development Project, as so far as I knew for the last 24 months that I stayed as the GM, is a direction of a local government unit. Meaning to say, long before Yolanda happened, there was already the agenda of developing the north of Tacloban. And that is bringing the business, the technology, the population, and all other opportunities in Tacloban North to decongest the Tacloban proper. So Yolanda came, and therefore they saw the opportunity of transferring the people from those in the danger zone to Tacloban North. Now, it would be very unfair, Your Honor, if Tacloban City will accuse NHA that it is NHA that determines the site. Because for all of the sites, Your Honor, in the housing project of Tacloban, and Samar, Leyte, Iloilo, Yolanda Corridor, including Sendong and Pablo, have all an endorsement coming from the local chief executive. Meaning to say, Your Honor, the local chief executives of a particular RGUs are fully aware that before we site dev a certain land, it has to pass the criteria of site selection requirements of NHA, whether or not facilities, utilities are available. The 15-kilometer distance from the proper to the Cluba North was, of course, an obvious distance that has escalated its problem. Meaning to say, there was no available water, there was no available power. But then again, it was the Tacloban LGU that made all of this. In, meaning to say, Your Honor, all of the sites that NHA pointed out, acquired, were duly endorsed by the local government units, particularly the mayor or the Sangguniang Panglusod. In fact, Your Honor, it is also consistent with the CLUP of all of the LGUs. So we cannot also build our housing units over industrial, over commercial. It has to be residential. So in short, Your Honor, NHA was just a recipient of an endorsement because during my term, Your Honor, I have required all our projects should have development permits issued by the local government units. Henceforth, that legitimizes our own assertion that even in the site, it is primarily identified and approved by the LGU and the Sangguniang Panglosod. Uh, Your Honor, can I answer that? Um, well, it's, it, it's the decision of the chair. Uh, Gusto ko lang i-note, Mr. Chair, si na parang Gito, nagtuturoan sino talaga ang may decision. Si Jeb Gito I kasi panahon niya po ito. Just to give light on, 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 that, on the topic, ho. Yung pong sa Tacloban, when we were, uh, yung bin binubuo po yung uh, PDNA, which is the master plan po ng Yolanda, inimbitahan po namin lahat ng uh, agencies. Uh, Tacloban City was there, and they presented to us their master plan, which was prepared by the city with the help of the World Bank. Under the mas master plan po, lahat po ng resettlement will be established dun sa north side of Tacloban. Why? Because dun, dun po mas mataas okay. yung, yung level. So dun po kami tinuro, So it was the LGU? It was the specified. master plan of the LGU. Miski po yung sa Sambuanga, we hired uh, UP Planades to do a master plan. So lahat po ng site selection, we based it on the master plan. Tanong ko lang na, I'll be frank with you, uh, Jim, uh, ano, uh, Tori Chito. Siyempre, LGU ang nagre-recommend Siguro more of, meron bang times na sila din ang nagsasabi na ito dapat o doon dapat? Kasi minsan, 
hindi naman malayo na sa kanila po manggagaling ang mga permits, licenses, eh minsan hindi ko kaya sila mismo nagsasabi kung anong site ang o bakas mayroong nagbebenta mismo sa locality yun. Nangyayari ba yun? Well, ang LGU po kasi ang may hawak ng CLUP, yung Comprehensive Land Use Plan po. No? So, doon ho namin binabase. Marami naman din ho kasing, uh, of course, may, may, may recommendation. Pero kung hindi po pasado doon sa Site uh, Evaluation Committee, hindi ho pumapasa sa NHA at hindi, hindi yun ang nagiging site ng ating resettlement. Thank you, Ms. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Follow-up lang, medyo related issue naman, pero sa, sa NHA pa rin, uh, tungkol dito sa um, site selection or uh, yung mga prerequisites para matukoy talaga yung isang site bilang uh, paglalagyan nga ng isang housing project. Uh, why does NHA need to bother about titling the land parcels? Hindi po ba pwedeng assignment na lang ito ng LGUs na dapat mag-provide ng uh, mag maglaan ng provisions para sa housing, sa resettlement, dun nga sa kanilang mga club na na-appreciate ko po um, uh, GMI binanggit nyo na isang mahalagang batayan ng mga proyekto ng NHA. Hindi po ba pwede o mas maigi na yung NHA ay mag-provide na lang ng mga nung pondo, whether grant o, o utang para sa materyales, tapos i-capacitate yung LGUs at saka yung mga komunidad para i-contract yung sarili nilang uh, service providers. Sort of related din. So, isang tanong ko kanina kina uh, Mr. Di Maano. Yung ganitong community-centered approach, uh, ay mukhang umaandar din naman ng maayos-ayos sa Indonesia, saka sa ibang mga lugar dito sa ating bansa na may collaboration ng housing agencies at uh, nabanggit din ni Sir Hobson kanina, uh, mga international agencies tulad ng UN Habitat. So, ano pong thoughts nyo dito sa gano'n ba ka-essential yung titling and then uh, paano ma itong, itong possibilities ng community-centered approach? Uh, your Honor, I think I fully agree in your stand because what is really the problem right now because initially, NHA crafted a, a policy and that policy has been incorporated in the TOR that all the land acquisition should be covered by a title. So that TOR forms part of the legal documents which COA is now trying to look into. So as a general lawyer honor, it is now COA, upon the recommendation of NHA, as included in the TOR, that all lands acquired by NHA should be titled to also signal the conclusive ownership of the land because there are already adverse claims, Your Honor, in the past which NHA is now facing. There are a lot of land or lands in NHA that were developed several years ago, and all of a sudden, five years, 10 years, 15 years thereafter, there are adverse claims, and the claims seems to be legitimate, Your Honor. So the conclusive ownership or proof of ownership would be, it has to be a titled property. But then again, Your Honor, your recommendation is very correct, because as I see it, if there are no titled lands available, it can be a tax declaration or it can be an ownership by the local government units, by other parties who would want to share the land. These are just a matter of policy or honor that can be inputted to a new TOR. So what COA is now looking at is the proposal itself that had been approved by the NHA that formed part of the TOR. If and when we were open to all of these arrangements, engagements, and modalities, there would not have been a problem in terms of land acquisition because on the ground, there are lands available, especially so if these are all owned by the local government units as part of their counterpart in the development of the resettlement sites. I, I fully agree in that point, Your Honor. I appreciate ko po, uh, GM Escalada, yung uh, openness nyo, even support, and I, I think nasimula na rin nating mapag-usapan nito, even in terms of interagency uh, co coordination, na sinusuportahan din ni Finance Chair Loren simula nung mga budget debates natin in the previous two years. So just to con to contribute one more point dyan sa particular conversation natin about titling sa community-based approach, um, ito, itong point na, but after all, it's the NHA's money. So, wala ba kayong say? Siyempre, may say kayo. And, pero in fact, May mga kliyente kayo na nag-feedback uh, na yung contractors na later on ang pinapahanap ng parcels, 
uh, or pwedeng mag, nagbigay sila ng, or pwede kayo, pwede nga NHA ang nagbigay ng guidance sa mga contractors. Simbawa, may mga kaso na ang DNR nagpresent ng small parcels pero rejected by NHA. So anyway, these are additional points na baka pwede pa nating pakinisin in terms of that um, interagency cooperation sa buong housing cluster under HADC and then later on din um, Mr. Chair kapag pinag-usapan pag lumabas yung mga opportunities for I will I'll post some questions about yung institu patuloy na institutional um, improvement uh, strengthening ng ng NHA lalo na sa ganitong para hindi na maulit-ulit ulit itong mga problema sa itong mga reklamong tinatalakay. Salamat, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Siguro tanin ko uh, na mo because we don't have time. Uh, medyo 3 o'clock magsesesyo na kami sa our last day. Um, siguro yung sa mga kontraktor ng Yolanda, pwede hong ano, to tell you're all under oath, sino hong mga taga kontraktor sa Yolanda projects? Pwede mo tumayo na lang para lang maki makita ng committee. Yan po na involved sa Yolanda Siguro pwedeng tanungin sandali, pwede kong tanungin lang kayo no to answer as truthfully as you can. Kayo ho ba talaga ang gumawa ng mga inyong pong mga proyektong nakuha? Kayo ho lahat. Wala hong nag-subcontractor sa inyo. Sige po. You're on your all under oath ah. Alalahanin niyo po 'yon. Ang kasi ang nakakabahala dito, may mga contractors na may mga issue noon pa no, bakit parang paulit-ulit? May mga nakakuha sa kontrata. Kung titignan nyo, mayroong ilan doon. May siyam, sampu na kontrata. Tulad lang naman ito. Siguro nandito ba si J.C. Oyesion Construction? Nandito ba? Ay, kayo po. Pala, Mr. James. Tanong ko lang, no? Just to clarify nyo lang, no? Project nyo, Villa Lindero Nuevo, Santique. 759 ang target units. Pero hanggang ngayon, wala pang completed. Wala pang nagagawa. Tapos, uh, Dumangas, Iloilo, 1,000 ang target units pero wala pa rin po ilan po ang complaint paki sige po pa. kayo nga uh, sir James paki ano uh, your honor yung dumangas po nag uh, uh, nagchange po ang delivery date po namin diyan ay January 2000 at uh, January 24 2019 uh, we undertook this project October 22 2017 so it's currently under construction po <laughs> 2017 lang nakuha ang project sa ano, Yolanda ito, di ba? Yes po, Your Honor. So, five years. Ngayon pa lang yung nakuha. Yung yes sa, po, Your Yolilo. Honor. Doon po sa, Dumang, sa, ano, sa Dumangas yan. Doon po sa Antique. Uh, similar po, Your Honor. It's, uh, these are new contracts po. Uh, ang delivery dates mostly is 2019 po. Ilan pa ho ang kontrata ninyo? Yan lang, yung dalawa? Yun po. Bakit ngayon lang ko kayo pumasok? Kasi Yolanda eh, bakit ngayon lang ano, nagtatakla ko? Is our dish, uh, our dish new sa Visaya? Sino po, ma'am? Sino po yung area manager natin? Engineer Grace, bago ho itong mga kontratang ito? Uh, Your Honor, uh, we just bid it out last year po, 2017. Ito po yung mga naiwan. Ay, mga naiwan po ito. Okay. Doon po sa Lucky... Lucky Builders, 11 ng projects yung sa Yolanda. Asa na ba yung Lucky? Dito. Sir, sige po. Quickly. Hindi lang para lang malaman natin no? yung inyo pong performance. Sige po, umirap ka na ano na. Tumabi na kayo dyan. Pakisabi ng pangalan. Sir, um, I am Michael Angelo Callos po, uh, Vice President po ng LAPK Builders. Sige po, ano na, kasi nandito, no, 11 na projects yun sa Yolanda Corridor, tama ko ba? 11? Yes, sir. Okay. Ang target unit yun, total is about 5,402 for the 11 unit, well, 11 projects. Kaso ang completed nyo is only 1,544 or 28.58%. Tama ko ba ito? Um, sir, sobra po ata yung nasa listahan nyo na 5 Okay, sige, please ano lang. Kung ilan yung target units, ilan yung completed? Um, sir, yung completed, yung sa takloban po namin, sir, uh, 100% completed, 100% occupied po. Uh, yung, yung New Washington po, Aklan, 
340 and uh, 343 po. Parehas po siya, sir, 100% uh, completed. 100% po siya occupied. Din occupied. Yes, sir. Ano, um, saan kayo based? Yung inyong company, kumpanya? Sir. Uh, uh, sir, sa Manila po. Quezon sa Manila po. based? Yes, sir. Pero doon yung, hindi kayo nag-subcon? Kayo mismo ang gumawa? No, sir. Kami po talaga lahat yung gumawa. Okay. Sana nga, ganyan lahat. Pero, yung naririnig namin, rando. Pero, bakit yung napuntahan namin, hindi ganyan kaganda? Itong isa na naman, JC Tayag. Um, JC Tayag Builders, um, may mga issue na substandard. Hindi lang yon meron silang nine projects sa Eastern Samar. 2,559 target units. Completed units ay 36. 1.4% lang completion rate. So, andito ba JC Tayag? Wala na. Ano to, hindi sumipot or ano? Baka ano. Uh, and, um, GM, siguro sa NHA is... Uh, Existing pa ito ba, uh, itong contractor na ito, or uh, is this terminated already? Your Honor, for the record, uh, that is one of the projects that I terminated during my term. So there are eight sites in Southern Samar, in Leyte, handled by JC Tayag, which we terminated, I think, three months ago. So probably and, his absence uh, So he was terminated. For what reason, Jim? Uh, I think the slippages, Your Honor, reaches as high as negative 47, Your Honor. Kasi yung problema, ang dami niyang, ano, in, sp in spite of the performance, medyo marami siyang projects, no? In spite of the per 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 performance. Siguro, I'll take advantage dito si Mayor, si Mayor Randy Grasa. Nandito na lang kayo, Mayor, no? Um, kasi yung ibang proyekto ni JC Tayag, nandun ho yata sa inyo, sa Balangiga. Tama ho ba? Ano po ang masasabi nyo doon po sa, ano? Tama ho ba na may mga nakalipat na at uh, ano po yung quality of works nito ng JC Tayag sa inyo? So par po sa Townville 1 and Townville 2. Yung ano pa lang yung na construct doon is around 260 units pero hindi pa lahat tapos at saka unoccupied. Base po doon sa presentation kanina yung sa Ted Pilon yung nakausap na yung nakausap ni Ted Pilon yung na-interview yung municipal engineer po namin yung, yung pero <coughs> tama lang yung sabi niya na substandard at saka delikado talagang occupied yun. Kasi baka bigla may, may lingdol, baka bang collapse yun. So, ganun yun talaga yung predicament namin. So, ano pang ano nyo, Mayor? Uh, ano pang uh, reklamo nyo? Substandard lang? Substandard lang. Substandard lang. Ilan po ang units na nandun? At uh, ilan lang yung, yung natapos? In, wala pang natapos. Wala pang may turnover. Ah, wala pa ho? Yes po. So, tanong ko lang, no? Kasi... At saka, nag-conduct na po yung central office ng assessment at saka evaluation doon pa sa site Kaya na-terminate. Were they paid, uh, GM Escalada? Nabayaran po sila? Um, if so, based, magkano nabayaran sa kanila? Based on record, your honors, they will be paid accordingly to the actual accomplishments of the projects. But they will not be paid the whole amount as bidded out. Uh, consequently, your honor, according to our TOR, Right after the termination, we can enter into negotiations, Your Honor, with a better partner that can handle a better quality. And at the same time, an option can be also a downloading of funds to the local government units. These are options available for Your Honor after terminations. So we'll just discuss and converse with the mayor after. Kasi meron tayong mga ano, hindi lang si JC Tayag. No? May ilang contractors na nakita natin. Marami sila nakuwang kontrata, pero yung performance was not very good, no? So, isa lang si JC Tayag sa terminated. So, ilang pa ho yung na-terminate ng contractors? We issued 50 notices of showcase order, Your Honor, and we terminated 20 projects already involving 8 contractors. Because so, what are the most common um, reasons for termination? Uh, delivery, substandard, ano po ang pinakakuma? Actually, Your Honor, it is more of the more than negative 15 slippage by reasons of non-deployment of non-necessary materials as well as resources available on the ground that made them commit more than negative 15, Your Honor. According to our rules, if it is negative 15 and above, so Kasi automatic termination. Kasi ang worry termination. ko rito, Jim, contractor din tayo, kung siya yung, halimbawa, marami, marami siyang kontrata, siguro, di ba, progress billing, baka mamaya ginagamit yung pag-progress billing pang bayad doon sa ibang tapos sa iba, tapos naiiwan yung iba. That's correct, Pwede Your Honor. Pwede yung siguro, doon sa ibang, doon din ang nangyayari sa ibang... Uh, nakakuha ng multiple contracts. So, yun, correct, pong, yun ang ano eh. So, was this that happened in uh, probably in JC Tayag na hindi niya natapos yung ilan? Uh, right now, Your Honor, my policy is that in the NFCC, the net contracting, net 
financial contracting capacity should not only indicate for one project, it has to indicate all the multiple awards. Meaning to say, if you don't have the net financial capacity to do three projects, you will, you will be given an award of one only. Apparently, perhaps the practice would be one NFCC is equivalent to one project. My instruction today, Your Honor, is that one F NFCC should be equivalent to all of the projects that he is supposed to undertake. Doon po sa ano, no? siguro before we end, malapit na, nag-chine na ho kasi, malapit na kami mag ano, um, siguro before we can, uh, we end uh, this afternoon sa hearing. Kasi meron hong ano, no? parang na, may informasyon na dum dumating sa aming opisina, siguro pwede i-clarify ng uh, mga contractor dito, NHA. Sino ba ang point person dito noon? Meron bang nagpo-point person sa uh, tinatawag na point person? GMC to, kasi meron hong dumating na information, just to clarify, bigyan din natin. Meron ba kayong point person dito sa mga kontrata o sa mga contractors na kasi iba negotiated di ba kasi nga emergency meron daw ganun pwede ba bang i-clarify kung meron kayong tinatawag na point person kasi may lumalabas sa pangalan kung kilala nyo po yung no, no Aurelio kung kilala nyo o ito daw ang uh, nagiging point person well si Mr. Aurelio po is part of uh, NHA uh, um, and he's uh, not connected with NHA no no he is he, he is, is he is, he is. Uh, He's uh, uh, he's one of the group managers po ng, uh, ng NHA and uh, um, he's in charge of some of the projects including uh, Yolanda, your honor. Asa ah, Yolanda, so he's, uh, he's uh, uh, kasi per ang moni diba, monitoring po, yung monitoring. project monitoring. Mm -hmm. Hindi ho siya nagpa-package ng mga proyekto kasi parang yung, yun ang information na nakuha namin. No? We can, ano, kaya, kaya nga, we'll give it a chance also na, to clarify na uh, kung totoo ito hindi, yung mga information. Well, ang packaging po is uh, the function of uh, group managers binibigay ho yan dun sa back for bidding. So, uh, hindi ho kay Mr. Aurelio. Okay, sige po. For, for, uh, ano lang, oh, on record. Oh, kasi yun lang yung mga informasyon na, dum, na dumarating po dito. Uh, Senator Tiberos, before we, uh, we, uh, we suspend. Yes, yeah, salamat Mr. Chair. Uh, gusto ko lang i-make of record yung dalawa pang tanong na gusto ko sanang maitanong dito sa hearing natin bago nga isara ni Chair yung, uh, or i-suspend yung ni Chair yung hearing. Una po ay uh, yung very specific information sana about Marawi kasi yun na nga po yung susunod nating malaking post-disaster task. So very specific information lalo na po kaugnay ng uh, mga proposals po, I think quite solid proposals about community-led rehabilitation para hindi lang gobyerno, hindi lang private sector, hindi lang mga dayuhan, mga Chino ang nasa table, pero yung mga residente talaga ng Marawi, yung mga Maranao talaga. And then lastly, Mr. Chair, para sa susunod na hearing, uh, mga specific systematic approaches sa NHA uh, para sa auditing at para sa pagpapahusay ng uh, post-disaster reconstruction na i-undertake ng ahensya. Maraming salamat, Mr. Chair. At sa lahat po ng mga resource persons, maraming salamat. Okay, thank you, Senator Rivera. Since it's already time, uh, we have to suspend soon. But uh, we would like to invite and uh, ask the, uh, the Committee Secretary to issue sa PINA to J.C. Tayag and... Uh, uh, Mr. Noy Aurelio and uh, the others who did not show up but they were given invitations uh, show cause order as well. So thank you very much uh, ladies and gentlemen. The hearing is now suspended.